Welcome back, everybody. Today we have a wonderful cookie game showing off why cookie is actually a powerhouse in this meta, even though he doesn't do what is the typical stay on one and triple in the four type strats that a lot of the top tier heroes do. The one thing that cookie does do well and similar to Gale Wing in that manner, is there very, very strong mid-game tempo heroes that are capable of capitalizing on the fact that they have a ton of stats on the board on turn 6, 7, 8 to immediately level up to 5 and potentially go all the way to 6. You just need to find yourself a little bit of synergy on Tavern 3 and Tavern 4, dump those stats on the board, make use of those hero powers at opportune moments, and then suddenly you have enough tempo to go up to 6 at 20 plus health. And we all know in this meta, when you can go to six and stabilize on six, you can make a lot of things happen. Even make quill bores work. Quill bores aren't dead, guys. They just take a lot to get online. All right, enjoy. Don't blink, dude. Appreciate the support, dude. But don't blink. We can take this, or we can roll. Definitely gonna roll. Interesting. I like you. Just very hard to use here, right? So I guess we go the blood gym line. Awkward. One here. Just two here. Over and over again. Boo. So the whole idea of like budding green thumb is a great card. Don't get me wrong. I don't see anything from my side at all though. The only things I see are the things that people let me see. AKA the alerts. Alright, fuck you game. What? All right, that's a good hit. I like that one. All right. Very good hits at the end. Very, very, very good hits at the end. But these are supposed to be our strong turns. But you're, you know, usually getting decent minions. We're struggling a little bit. If we take a pirate or a dragon or an elemental, it can change our direction a little bit. Bronze Warden's definitely the play now. So we could try to roll, sell the Sun Bacon for something better. You could take this. So sad. It's probably something on your end, man. I wish I had a better answer for you. But it'll likely either A, resolve, or B, charge me twice. Yeah, it's got to be something on your end then at that point. Because I don't think Twitch is just eating subs. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. All right, so we get a fair amount of blood gems. We got a gem splitter early. But I appreciate the support, dude. Thanks for the kind words. Could be worse. I, I swear, if you do not start hitting things that aren't one attack with your fucking divine shield, we're going to have a problem. Like a real problem over here. Every one of the minions wants the value trade. Pet 
check fraud alerts with the card? Interesting. Everything's fraud. We usually try to level on this turn, but we're really weak. Plus, we're kind of incentivized to play into the cards we have. Hmm. It's not a lot of value in Banner Bore or anything. We just want more shields. Or another Gem Splitter. This is decent from this position. Could argue double selling for Selfless Hero. I think I like it. A lot of stats. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Citibank thinks the 499 Twitch is probably a scam. I mean, it is. Let's be real. <laughs> Eh, it's just a, it's just a scam. The whole thing's a scam. Dodge, dodge. I swear to God, I'm, I'm putting you on the fucking farm. If you one more time run into the one attack thing with your shield, you're going to the farm. You have been warned. That's four times in a row the little minion has hit that shield. Straight to the farm. All right, well, awkward game. But at least we got mid game scaling, and mid game scaling is something. Turn eight, we're on tavern five. We have a pair on the board. We have a big minion and a big minion. Bring back Bristleback. Bring back Bristleback, Bristleback, Bristleback. Bristleback lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bet. Yo, look, don't blink, dude. Thanks for the tier one sub. Hooray, it went through. <laughs> Ah, uh, a good sigh of relief. Hey, just happy it went went through for you. <laughs> and thank you for the support. Appreciate it. Sucks having things like that hanging over your head. All right, so, so, so yeah. Bristleback, Bristleback Knight, I'm assuming is what you mean. A tier five, be really nice. There we go, hope it doesn't drop me three times. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but can't say for certain, dude. Cannot say. It's literally the smallest minion on the board every fucking time. It's actually unreal how consistent it was. Both shields hit the little minion both times. All right, our RNG multiplier or modifier or whatever, super low right now. All right, cool. We at least get the tie. But what the fuck is this? Every single time the little ones. Oh, we always get the win there from that position, actually. To the farm. It's literally been four in a row. All right, you're nice. Agam would be better, but. Selfless pair, perfectly reasonable. Those, those are not thing. Oh my god. Keck, wait. We get our hero here too. Like, I was gonna hear power Cold War if I saw any of them. So which one doesn't make the cut? Selfless, I guess. 
Sad. Dropping a selfless when you have a pair. The dragon? You mean a divine shield minion on the board? On a board that is heavily dependent on divine shields and AoE? I don't want to drop that one. Every fucking time. You have a 50-50 here. Just hit this one. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, that's what I get for believing. Hey, Bronze Warden knows what up. He keeps sniping things. You need to learn, Tough Tusk. Be more like Bronze Warden. At least that one was a 50-50. It doesn't feel like you got scammed. But the 1 in 6s and 1 in 7s feel bad. Yeah, he's a smart dragon, exactly. That dragon? That dragon is a, our bro. We should be able to level here. This should be the turn to go up. Brand's good. No Murlocs, though. I don't want to make that pivot. I'm really not. I'm not asking for a miracle. Eat the bacon? You can. Probably should. To open up the opportunity for a Quill Borer from this set. Yeah, probably should have eaten the bacon. I'm really bad about that one. Using the hero power early on in the turn. Tusk? Yeah, Tusk isn't good enough to sub out on the board. What are you going to sell? Thorncaller? Always eat bacon? I mean, see, I, I prefer to keep my, my diet a little bit better than that. But yeah, like if the bacon's there in front of you, especially if it's in sun bacon. Yo, ellipses. Ellipses! Thank you so much for the five months. A few minutes ago. I cleared at the same time as Don't Blink Dude. Maybe it was a server problem. Who knows? But yo, thank you so much for the tier one as well. It's just going to become the new norm as I'm just notoriously late to say thank you to people when they sub. It'll be like 13 days later and you get a message on Twitch. Yo, dude. Thanks for that sub. A decade ago. During the full moon. There, Bran. I like you. I like you too, actually. Woo! All right. I just wanted a Charlie. Boo! I wasn't asking for a miracle. I wasn't. Maybe Nadine is useful in the future? Now, we had no cool boards on any of those boards. I was careful about that. I bought all the ones. So, elementals are worth two gold periodically. Rest of the, there's a divine shield there, too, I guess. Reminds me of the bloodlust animation. Putting the blood gems on this thing. Oh no, not the tough tusk. Oh wait, Charlie's. You could really argue this one first too. 
considering that we see elementals, he's likely to try to trade a divine shield or a big minion into it. So if we can go first, it attacks and kills something before it gets one shot. I swear to God, it is every single time. It is the littlest minion on the board will 100% get attacked by this tough dusk. It's legitimately every single time. Oh, the four attack one. Oh, the six attack one. Could have eaten the 2-4? No, but you don't sell it for a gold. There's no world I'd ever eat my own minion. Like, it's not worth the, the value of the hero power. One gold is a lot of value. just all in on stats for the turn play flat tusk we're not playing it though there's too much value on the charlies right now and we're not dropping divine shields it's useful as a triple but it's not useful otherwise like we get dynamic duo value Basically what the Flat Tusk does, it gives us two extra blood gems, right? One blood gem inherently per turn comes from Charga and goes immediately on the Ground Shaker, right? So you gotta argue that that second blood gem from the Ground Shaker is worth playing a smaller minion on the board and not getting one, two, three, four, five, six, or a six, six uh, across the board, seven, seven across the board and a six, six additional on this unit. So, four attack to the board has to be worth more than 13, 13 per turn, and breaking a pair. For two and a half blood gems, two on the first turn. Definitely not going to make that argument. Go right. The little one this time. Alright, well, whatever. Just do your thing, it's cool. This one has to hit here. We're happy. One time. Cool, 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 cool. All right, big cool boars it is. Big cool boars. We've had a lot of success with this comp this season. You just kind of get into a lot of stats very quickly. Cool boar. Roll for triples. It's about all we do. Selfless hero in the long term could be okay. It's not that important. The triples are really, really, really big. No. No. AFK comp. I want to know why the Tough Tusk gets a divine shield. Why did an ang What did an angry pig monster swinging a fish do to gain divine favor of the light? Have I told you they sound like a collared dove when you say cool 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 I don't know what a collared dove sounds like, but I'm assuming like most birds that coo. It's the fish, man. The fish is is OP. Fish gets Divine Shield. He has cute toes. I mean, great. Good to know. Look how cute. Each his own. We don't, we don't shame here. Alright. Like going first. That's not first. No, 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 no. Right, that was a good hit. You did it! Oh, that's Bronze Warden. Bronze Warden always does it. This Bronze Warden's OP. All right, well, our hits were pretty bad across the board, not going to lie. Going first is huge there. We kill an extra entire minion. Right on time.
We can do eight. Uh huh. Tough Tusk is gonna make the board at the end of the turn, probably, right? So none of these make the cut. So this doesn't do anything. We're only gonna spend three gold with it on the board. Get lucky. We do get lucky. No real reason to pick this up. All right. We did it. We got a divine shield. And the taunt is actually really nice against that guy too. Because it can open the door to not getting spored. Alright, so, so far, worst hits. That hit was good, though. That was a good start. That should do it. That does do it. Okay. Now we just gotta beat the dude with the spore. His OP spore. It's very unlikely to be useful to me, but if we cycle something, it could be like a blood gym that we could cycle. Maybe you'd leave that on the board. Super unlikely. Could have a zap. Could have a spore. This thing's at 20 health. We should sell it. Divine Shield is good. Spore is potentially good. Two gems. Second thought, that one. We don't actually pick that up. No reason to. All right. Is that all in for one round, right? Zagamworth? Nah. Attack is really important here. All right. At least that hit was good. Even if he did get the value trade. Unbelievable, Spore. I brought you on for one reason. And you do this. You do this. You. You just. Oh. One job. Goes in, hits a 6-6. Six, six. The divine, like, this boar is better if you know it's got to hit a 6-6, six, six, but you're talking about, like, a 24 damage-ish, 25 damage-ish divine shield versus a spore on a board where he has a bunch of 60-60s. Our, uh, our good games on cookie continue. Feels good.